Hello again and welcome to the Bex EDM YouTube channel. And today I'm starting making some parts. So I've been spending a lot of time CAD modeling and figuring out how to uh, solve a lot of small problems. But now it's time to start making parts. So I'm going to start with the C arc and I'm going to machine EDM machine that is these parts here. So this part this part, this part, this part, this part, and this part. And then, uh, yeah, going to have to uh, drill a lot of holes, tap holes, and do some milling here on this part as well. So that's what we'll be doing today. I could uh, machine all these parts, and the design has been made such that you can simply machine the parts by milling. Um, however, I think it's uh, it's way cooler to just EDM cut these parts with my MK1 machine. And for me, EDM cutting is also uh, the least amount of work. Because I simply press the button and then go and do something else and wait for the part to be finished. While if I have to machine this, uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit more work. So let's get on to it. First, let's do these parts here. This rod clamp and this rod clamp. I'm filling the tank for the uh, first four pieces, the, the clamps that will clamp the rod. Tried a few test cuts here to see yeah, how different parameters look like, finish all the parts. And now I have a parameter setting that I like and uh, I'm going to use that setting. So. Okay, the first part's finished. Let's have a look. Really difficult not getting in the way of the camera. Let's see here. Come on, you. Ah. There it is. Nice. Really liking the uh, the finish on this part. Cool. Then let's do the axle clamp here. That's uh, this small part in the middle. Here's an old part that I botched. It's uh, 30 millimeters thick, so it's the right thickness. And I can use this, uh, yeah, to make the part from. It's a bit uh, small and short. So I added this uh, adapter plate that I can easily mount it on the EDM machine. Okay, I mounted the block and it's close to the window so I can make a good arc shot. Okay, let's get the party started. Okay, I started out here and then the wire broke and I know why. The reason for that was because I ran out of water. So there was not enough water in my reservoir and I used these circular vein pumps. So if there's not enough water in the reservoir and you get a whirlpool, uh, the vein pump can draw some air and when air gets into a vein pump they stop sucking. And then when there's no suction, it cannot uh, make the pressure for the flushing head. Flushing then briefly stops and then your wire immediately breaks. So I refilled the water tank, deionized and then started at a new position. And then everything went A-OK. -okay. And here's the results for the last piece. Great. 
There's a small bit of discoloration, that's because I'm using a reverse polarity. But uh, yeah, a quick uh, rub with uh, some steel wool uh, gets rid of that. Now let's do the upper rod mount, this part. So this is the next part that I'm going to make. Uh, I made a paper template from it, such that uh, when I have a piece of stock here that's full of holes, and I want to maximize uh, the cutting efficiency, so I'm trying to puzzle where I can put this out, and I see I can just get it out of here. So that's great. Now I know in Fusion 360 how to orient the axis for the, for the cam. Okay, new stock in the EDM machine. Set my coordinates right, checked everything, now it's time to flood the tank, start cutting the, yeah, the next part, which is this part. That's what it's going to look like. And it's done. Alright, let's have a look. I added this plastic clamp so the workpiece doesn't fall through. Yeah, okay. Making such a part might look like really easy, and that's because it is. You just press start, go and watch this old Tony on YouTube, and when you get an email from your machine that the part is finished, you're done. And uh, now I'm going to do the lower rod mount, this part. Time for the next part, this one. Alright, that's the uh, lower part finished. Let's have a look. Yeah, cool. That's it. And finally the rod holder, this part here. Next up is this part. Uh, we'll cut the outline with EDM and then drill and machine the holes on my uh, CNC machine. Let's have a look. This is just the outline of a part that's a bit more complex, so I need to uh, machine some, some parts and add some holes and things like that. But uh, this is a good start. Now it's time for a small little part, the capstan swing arm. I'm going to machine that from 10mm thick aluminum. Okay, it looks like the swing arm has been finished, or at least this part. Now oh, it still needs some uh, some holes in it. There we go. Nice. Next part is this uh, hinge hinge thing that will uh, uh, move the, uh, the the roller that uh, pinches the wheel. So I'm going to EDM the outside contour again, like all the other parts. Um, 
and then just machine in the holes later. So these are all the parts that I uh, could machine on the MK1 wire EDM machine. Now of course these parts still need finishing. Most of these parts need a few holes, um, which is a bit boring to show how I drill holes, except for this part. This part needs to be machined on two faces and I need to ream some holes for the uh, rods for the Z axis. So I'll. Uh, do some video material on that. Okay, I'm going to blue dicom this and scribe a few lines. Not because I need the lines to work against, because this is a CNC machine, just to keep me from making mistakes, because it's getting late and I tend to make dumb mistakes when it's late. But when there are scribe lines, I see mistakes sooner than, uh, than usual. So I'm just scribing them now. zero location here and now going to center drill from deburring. The final operation on this part is tapping a hole here. So here's the part deburred and cleaned. 
really nice. So let's put it together a bit so you can see where it belongs. Okay, here's where the part fits in the bigger picture. It's just a simple mock-up here. Um, so you can see where it belongs. And when I put the simple mock-up here together, I noticed I made a mistake. It's a small one, but I need to remake this part. Because as you can see here, these M4 bolts, they go straight through the part and I needed nuts. That should not have happened. There should be M4 thread in this part. Which I forgot, I just drilled it 4 millimeters. So the model is correct. It was just a fabrication error. So I need to redo this part. Otherwise it's going to get really tedious. If you open and close the clamps, you have to hold the nuts every time. So that's not really an option. Redoing this part. I won't be making a video about that because it's basically doing the same thing all over again. But here you can see yeah, the, uh, the assembly and what it looks like. So, of course there is another axle going to be here. And then I think uh, the next video will be about making the flexure. I'll make it from a piece of stainless steel square 20 by 20 millimeter tubing. Which will go in, in here, like this. And that will be the flexure that will position the upper flush, flushing nozzle. So we're starting to get somewhere. Hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, like, subscribe and see you next time.